Because remember, the feminine is like water. Cash flows. You need to tap into both sides of yourself in order to, to really allow that cash to flow. Hello and welcome to part four of our four-part series on the psychology of making money. I'm Amira Alvarez. I'm the founder and CEO of The Unstoppable Woman. And today we are talking about claiming the feminine. This is the, the fourth part in our four-part series. And it's super important if you want to receive at higher and higher levels. You have to step into this aspect of yourself. So we're going to be talking about what this even means, why it's important for you in your business in order to receive at these higher levels to really step into your feminine, what the law of gender has to do with making money, and what you can do to activate this inherent power that you have right now. For those of you who are just joining us, remember to circle back and listen to part one, part two, and part three of this series on the psychology of making money. Part one is about claiming your desire or your destination, your goals, okay? You really have to claim that. Part two is about claiming your way, your plan. This is about the how that, that is required to execute on achieving and receiving your desired income level. And part three is about claiming your belief system, the structure that influences whether you're going forward with the handbrake on, i.e. making it hard, or if you've released the handbrake and you're making it easy. So go back, circle back, and listen to those after you've listened to this. It's part of a whole um, structure, if you will, a whole um, series. There you go. That's the word on how to really get your psychology about making money accurate and correct so that you can make the money that you desire and have that level of success that you desire. So let's today start off with what it even means to claim the feminine and what the law of gender has to say. So the law of gender says that we need both the masculine essence and the feminine essence to create. Just like making a baby where you need the sperm and the egg, the masculine aspect and the feminine aspect to come together, you can't do it separately, they have to come together. They are both required to create life in this world. And this is both sexual energy and when it's combined, when that masculine and feminine comes together, it's combined and it creates life force energy. And when you are in business for yourself, you are giving life to your ideas. You're taking them from just this idea stage or phase where there is not um, anything in this concrete 3D world into form, into an actual thing. So you've created the idea, you've taken the idea of something, you've turned it into a product or a service that then is a thing in this world that solves a problem for people and it is a, a creation that you've made. It's, it's a, an outcome for sure, but you've created it through lots of different aspects of yourself, including the, the masculine and the feminine. So let's talk about what these two aspects are, because you, you need both in order to, to turn an idea into something that is a viable product or service, a thing, if you will, in this world that, that then gets translated into, uh, transformed it again into uh, money in your bank account, income that you've received. So you in your business, you're giving life to your ideas and you need both the masculine and feminine in order to, to create. Now, here's the thing. Everyone has mas a masculine essence and a feminine essence in them. This is not to say that everyone is a man or a woman. I don't know how you identify, but you probably identify in some way. That's not what we're talking about. 
We're talking about the essence, the attributes of the masculine and the feminine that everyone has in differing in, in different degrees. Now, generally speaking, and this is a generalization, most people who identify as a man will have more of a masculine essence than a feminine essence, but they will have both. And more of the people who identify as a woman will have more of a feminine essence than a masculine essence. And then there's a whole spectrum in between. And as a woman in business, I I very much am in my masculine much of the time, but I'm also in my feminine. And I think this is what allows me to create at such high levels. And I've seen men do this as well, be in both their masculine and their feminine. They know how to receive through the feminine as well. And it's important that you you really master both. Today, I want to emphasize what the difference is between the two and then how you can activate your feminine side because generally speaking, we are trained on how to activate the masculine side more than the feminine side in business. Okay, so the feminine is like the womb. It receives, it receives the seed. It, it's the soil in which the seed is nurtured and incubated. It's loving, it's warm, it's inviting, it's soft, it's comforting. It's all of those things. It's the place where you nurture your ideas. It's the place where you need to let things percolate, to grow, to incubate. We need to incubate our ideas. We need to keep them safe in that incubator, if you will. And that's what the feminine does. It, it, it's comforting. It's, it has the nutrients and the, the fertilization like soil for the seed to grow in. It, it provides that level of um, support and nutrients, the things that are required to grow the seed. Okay, so it, it, the, the feminine also relates to the element of water. Now, water is flowing. It's movement. It's also a bit meandering, but it has a path. It's going in a direction. It will always find a way to um, its destination. It moves uh downhill if you will it moves with gravity it knows know how it knows how to move with the elements it's not trying to swim upstream okay not going you never see the water going upstream right that it's always moving downstream it's 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 uh may, might be meandering like a stream it might be a a, a huge powerful a waterfall. It might be the waves crashing. It has all these different characteristics and it's very powerful. So if you look at like the Grand Canyon where a, a river really created this incredible structure by persistence over time, it finds a way and the other thing about the feminine is that it's always seeking more. It's seeking. It's yearning for more. It's, it's looking for more. So it, it's never satisfied. This is one of the things that you need to know about yourself and not reject about yourself as a woman and, and, and that feminine aspect of yourself is that you're always going to want more. You might have slayed your income goals for the week or the month or the year and then you're going to have something else that you want more of. It's not that you don't appreciate what you have but that feminine essence in you is always desiring more, always yearning for more. You might have the best sex and then you want more of it. You might have the most delicious food and then you want more of it. This is the feminine aspect. It's that, that desiring of more, more attention, more beauty, more love, more money, more success, more sex, all the good stuff, more pleasure, okay? Whatever you want, that's the, the feminine aspect of saying, yes, I yearn for that, okay? And it relates to the subconscious mind 
So we've, we, in, in part three, which is the linchpin of this series. So if you haven't listened to it, um, go listen to it. If you did already listen to it, go back and listen to it again. There's so much important pieces in that episode, in that, that part of this series that you're going to want to really listen to it again and again. And it's something that I teach in depth at the Unstoppable Woman Income Breakthrough Summit. So if you want to, to really master this, that's where you're going to want to go. Okay, so it relates to the subconscious mind, which is, as we talked about, receptive. It can't reject. It just receives. Well, you might go, well, I don't want to just receive anything. That's fine. You have a masculine essence as well. But if you don't know how to receive... If you don't know how to open and allow, which is the feminine, you will always block the ease with which money will come to you. You'll always be in the struggle. You'll always be in the hard. You'll be in the rejection. You'll be in the no. You want to be in the yes. You want to be in the receiving side. Okay. And this is where the power of surrender and faith and trusting and deep relaxation comes in. It's so, so, so important. Part of being in business is moving forward in faith. Moving forward in faith. Faith is the belief in the unseen. And the feminine knows how to surrender to the, the life force of this world. Spirit, source, the universe, infinite intelligence, gods, you know, whatever you want to call all the energy that is. Are you surrendering to that? Do you have faith in it? Do you trust in it? Do you actually believe that, that the universe is for you? Then that must be, you must deeply relax into it. You must trust it. Now that doesn't mean that you abdicate personal responsibility. That is not what this is about. But you do have to know when to let go, when to, to allow, when to be the, the, the channel to receive and not be the doer, be the beer, if you will. Okay. It's a deep, the feminine is a deep inner knowing. It's a spiritual knowing. It's a tapping into your intuition. Your intuition is, is um, the, the, the part of you that is tapped into the one mind, the all mind, the, 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 all the energy that is the, the life force energy that is going through everything in this universe. And you are able to tap into that power, that one mind through your intuition. And our intuitive knowing is our feminine in, we tap into it when we allow our minds to wander, when we allow ourselves to have creative imagination, when we just are, are in the dreaming, in the softness, in the, the receptivity to all that is. And the feminine is emotional awareness and responsiveness. It's it's the understanding of what the emotions mean. Now, I've, I've worked with many women in business who are cut off from their emotions, and admittedly so. They, they don't deny it. They, say, they, they laugh about how you know, their therapist asks them what they feel, and they say, I think, blah, 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 blah. How do you feel about that? Well, I think that that, blah, 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 blah. They're, te- they're cut off from this, this emotional state because they, they think that they can't be emotional in business. And of course, there's a time and a place. I'm not advocating, you know, breaking down in tears in the meeting of a, uh, in the middle of a boardroom meeting or something like that. that that's not what I'm, I'm suggesting. But when you are tapped into your emotions, you have such immediate knowledge of what's a yes or a no for you. It's, it's what allows you to make decisions quickly. And I've studied multi-billionaires, right? Multi-millionaires and billionaires. And they talk about how they tap into a deep emotional knowing. And these are men, not just women, 
okay? These are men, not just women. This is the feminine aspect. This isn't the, the gender or the sex, okay? This is the feminine aspect of yourself. So this is an intuitive knowing, and this is emotional awareness. And, and you must understand what your emotions mean to be able to make better decisions for yourself in business. Now, it's not an either or, all or nothing scenario. If you are quote unquote too emotional and you're not thinking about cause and effect and you're not creating any structures and you're not being disciplined and doing the, the, the challenging things that are required in your business and, and that will grow you and you're just in the emotional know of that, you won't get ahead. So you need both in, in harmony with each other. The feminine is also the embodied experience rather than being all in your thinking, all in your mind. So the embodied experience is that trusting of the emotions, trusting of how, how you feel in your body, not being disconnected, but being in your body. This is what allows me to have a delighted, lit up, sexy, hot life when I'm running my business and not be cut off from it. And it, it's what you, you want, I imagine, as well. Like you want to feel your version of that, lit, your version of, of being lit up during the day and not all cut off from your body. So the feminine is about allowing rather than pushing or striving. There is a time and a place to go hard. And I'm all about that. I have a very strong masculine side. There's a time and a place to go hard and you have to match that with allowing. And this, I think, is one of the most powerful things that you can do. You can step into being attractive, being someone who attracts their highest level clients, that attracts your customers, that attracts people who want to pay you. I have a little, I have a little joke about this, a little laugh about this because one of my clients who is actually local to where I live, uh, met me in a parking lot to hand me a, a big fat check to, to work with me. And she laughed and she says, I want to be someone for whom people like drop everything on a weekend and meet you in a parking lot and hand, hand you checks. And I just giggled about it because that's what it means to be attractive. Like she wanted to work with me so badly that she like moved mountains to do that. And that's in opposition to or, or, or counter to the idea of chasing. So you have to understand when it's appropriate to do follow-up, when it's appropriate to uh, create structures for follow-up, but you want to be so attractive that your clients chase you. Okay. You, that's, that's the feminine aspect of it. Okay. So the feminine is also about mastering your inner, I'm going to call it your inner demons, but they're not really demons, but your, 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 your inner game, if you will, will versus always um, being focused on the outer game, which is, you know, say the marketing structures or the, the sales structures, which we talked about in part two of this series, how critical it, it important it is to dial in those tactics and strategies. You need those outer world, um, things very much dialed in. It's not an either or, but you need to, 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 work on the, that inner game piece, the mindset piece, the double binds, the, the blind spots, the loyalty packs, the things that have gotten, gotten you hooked, the old roles that you're playing. That's, that's part of making yourself available to more in this world. It's about making, cleaning up that inner piece, that inner side of things so that you can be receptive and not be like a giant stop sign to money flowing to you. The feminine is also about deep beauty, the need for it, the desire for it, the embodiment of it. This is why I think very feminine uh, women 
people with a strong feminine aspect, women with a very strong feminine aspect, you know, spend time on their, their beauty and, and the, how they look. And I've had to, quite frankly, learn that. It was not something that I grew up with. I grew up, um, you know, basically being trained to be a man, okay? And I had to learn, and I still am learning. Like, this is not a one, you know, one stop and you're done. The feminine is always growing, always learning, always nurturing this side of her. But, but I always knew that I wanted to be beautiful, but that was not how I was raised. I wanted to be adored. I wanted to be seen. I wanted to be presenced, um, for, for all of me, including my, my beauty for my intelligence as well, but also for the aspect of me that is very much a a woman. I wanted to, to have that love and adoration. Um, and, and the, the, the masculine sees presence really um, puts the lens on the feminine and the feminine receives the feminine is adored the feminine gets to 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 be presenced if you will so the feminine wants more the masculine wants freedom okay the, and, and you want both, I am sure, okay? So you want more of that that being seen. I'm, I'm sure that has something to do with it. So all of this um, leads us to activating this side of ourselves so that we can receive at a higher level. Again, I want to make sure that you understand that you need to activate both your masculine and your feminine. It's not just one and the one or the other, but generally speaking, we women in business tend to be more in our masculine than in our feminine because that is what's been given priority in our culture. So let's get back to the law of gender. If you go too far in one direction, too far, say, in the masculine direction, you won't know how to surrender to the beauty of life. You don't want. You won't know how to surrender to opportunities and step forward into in faith easily. You'll be afraid of like trusting the universe, trusting what's right in front of you. You'll always second guess yourself, and if you're too far. Um, in the feminine side, you'll be all about the flow, but you'll never hunker down and get it done, right? You will never do the things. You won't create the consistent marketing plan. You won't create the structure. You won't show up and put yourself out there and do the visibility and do the sales, have the sales conversations. You won't build the things, okay? So you need both. You can't just be in only tactics, only tasks, only the doing, and you can't be only in the allowing and the being. You need, you need both. So, so you need to be in, what are you guided to do? And then you need to be in the doing of it. You need to have a structure and you need to flow within that structure. Okay. If you're only in one side or the other, you are cutting off one, the beauty of life. You won't feel complete. You won't feel like a full expression of yourself, but you will also not be making as much money as you could be. Now let's talk about what you can do to activate the the feminine, to pull these two sides together. I hope you've gotten lots of ideas as I've described the difference between the masculine and feminine in terms of where you might be lacking right now and what might you need to build up in you and it's a practice okay you want to to pull these two sides together and activate what needs to be activated so what do you need to do what's the discernment that you need to have right now where are you not in harmony between the masculine and the feminine where do you need to activate more of one or the other. And I want you to think about in your marketing, where do you need to activate the feminine 
versus activating the masculine? Where do you need to be more just magnetic and, and attractive? And how are you going to claim that? What about in your sales? How are you going to activate both the masculine and the, the feminine? What's the, the structure that you need for the sales conversation or the structure you need for being consistent with your sales versus your deep listening skills? How you allow yourself to really hear what the other person needs and wants so that you can nurture it and show up with an answer for them. Tapping into your intuition but also knowing what the structures are that are in place. You need both. You need both. So how are you going to be the prize, be magnetic, be chaste, put yourself out there? And this is all about the energy of you, like that, like the energy of you want this. Like I have something that you want. That's That's the power of really stepping into the feminine. And I know that so many women, and I would count myself as this uh, in the past, I've done a ton of work on this and I teach people how to move through it. But I know that, you know, I had a core wound of being unlovable, unwanted. And that does not make you magnetic. That does not make you someone who Uh, for whom people want to work with. If you have that core wound, we need to work on on resolving that because you want to, to be embodying an energy of you want this, to be attractive like that. That's really owning your feminine. And it allows you to really own putting yourself out there as well. So you need to also own your desires. So go back to part one, of this series, which is claiming your desires. Don't make them wrong. Own your yearning. This is so much about what's required in the feminine to really own the feminine. Okay. What do you really want? What is that? And I'd like to show you how to take this all to the next level and apply it to your business so that you can make a massive income breakthrough and keep doing that over and over and over again because it doesn't stop. Your next step, your right next step, the very next thing that you need to do is to join me, join us for a three-day immersive experience at the Unstoppable Woman Income Breakthrough Summit. If you want the structure and the ease, right? That's the masculine and the feminine. If you want the plan and the flow, that's the masculine and the feminine. If you want to own your masculine and your your feminine and, and have that discernment and you want to tap into the money that's already here for you, but you need to understand the marketing and the sales strategy to call it in, as well as the inner game piece of owning your belief system, owning your yearnings and desires, owning your worthiness to receive, then I really encourage you to join us. Tickets are extraordinarily reasonable. We want to make this accessible to everyone. You can find more um, information and you can grab your tickets at theunstoppablewoman.com slash summit. So again, that's theunstoppablewoman.com slash summit. And tickets are extraordinarily reasonable. They're accessible to everyone. And and you will have to uh, make an investment. It's a small investment in the the ticket registration. Um, And an investment in time to spend time with us for three days. I'm the only one teaching. It's just me. So you're, you're, you're getting to do a deep dive with me which is so important to helping you turn around whatever patterns you're in that are blocking you from really making your income breakthrough, okay? This is so important. You need to understand what's involved and we're gonna be doing a deep dive in that. We're covering sales and marketing, subconscious programming, your self-image, your belief system, worthiness, giving you yourself permission to be rich, universal law, scaling with ease through through owning the full expression of who you are and your fullness, but also in the tactical sides of scaling. 
activating all the elements that are required to really show up in both your masculine and feminine, right? The focus, the accountability, being organized, being disciplined and ordered in, in what you need to do. Like, what is the plan? And mapping that with the allowing, the beauty, the ease, the stepping into more. We at the Unstoppable Woman, really me in particular, we really stand for that integration aspect of this. So this is how to break through what's stopping you from, from your desired income, from having a business that that makes you the money that you desire, that that helps you with that cash flow, right? That that consistent cash flow. Because remember, the feminine is like water, cash flows. You need to tap into both sides of yourself in order to, to really allow that cash to flow, okay? And, and we're going to be talking about how to do this, how to have the breakthrough so that you can create the life that you desire and deserve. So I hope that you got a ton out of this series and that you don't stop just here. That would be being a, a stoppable woman and you want to be an unstoppable woman. You want to break free from the old way of doing things and be someone who actually executes on such a higher level. So if you are going to be an unstoppable woman, if you're really going to tap into that, join me for the Unstoppable Woman Income Breakthrough Summit. So that, again, the URL for that is theunstoppablewoman.com slash summit. And I hope to see you there. And I can't wait to help you rock it out, take it to the next level, and really, truly step into being unstoppable. Unstoppable.